High pressure is still controlling much of the weather pattern for the uh, southern United States. But if you look at the upper air pattern here, evidenced by the uh, satellite picture and the radar over much of the U.S., you can tell that while we still have some activity circling the high, it's moved a little bit. We're now seeing uh, some showers making their way into the panhandle this afternoon in parts of West Texas, and that wasn't there before. So this is not only moving to the east and southeast a little bit, but it's breaking down. So we will eventually see some more cloud cover here and perhaps getting a little bit of some rain chances in here by next week. But for now, we've just had some light clouds here and there. Lots of sunshine. It is still hot. It is still humid. And for the remainder of this evening, we're still dealing with a heat advisory for much of the region. It does not include Highway 79, but for Bryan College Station South, that heat advisory is in effect for the rest of the evening as the heat index could be approaching uh, 108. And it's possible that this could be reissued for tomorrow, but uh, no official word yet on that from the National Weather Service. So we will be dealing with a uh, Saturday that is going to be quite uh, warm and we will still have some clouds around. We're starting to see more clouds into the picture, but no rain just yet. So a partly cloudy day for Saturday. Then we get into Sunday and it'll be more of the same. The hot and humid weather, there'll be some clouds around, but nothing really that's going to be able to produce any rainfall as of yet. But our weather pattern should change enough to where we might see a couple showers and storms once we get into the work week. So Monday and beyond and maybe something for the 4th of July, but the odds of that aren't too great. This is Monday morning and you'll notice nothing here so far, but uh, this is the extent of how far future track runs. If we were to take this out into later on Monday, might actually be seeing some model data for those brief showers and storms. So winds tonight are going to be out of the south at about 8 to 10 miles per hour and more or less the same for tomorrow afternoon. We'll still have that southerly and southwesterly direction in place. Speaking of tonight, your lows will be down around 77 for most of us. 75 in Centerville and Franklin, though, and then into tomorrow, your high temperatures are going to be uh, not quite at 100. We're looking at 98 for Bryan College Station, Centerville at 95, Cameron 97 and Somerville 96 degrees. However, the heat index will be above 100 and it could get close to 108 in terms of how it actually feels outside. So it's possible that the National Weather Service will reissue a heat advisory for part of the region. We're actually not going to change too much temperature wise for the uh, next few days. It looks like we're at 97 on Sunday, 98 on Monday and then 97 on Tuesday, which is the 4th of July. And basically those are the same numbers we're going to see throughout the next 10 days with morning lows right around 76 to 77. And through much of next work week, you'll notice about a 20% chance of rain and thunderstorms each day, which in essence means we might see a couple in the region. Most of us won't see anything, but some stray storms can't be ruled out. And that is true as well for the 4th of July, but I think most of your plans should be okay. So we're just keeping up with that hot and humid weather as we uh, last through the next 10 days.